Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Godhood. Uh, obviously, Zoo's gonna have to spend some time in the garden. Uh, Zoo also has this debuff, which is terrible. This is, uh, this is apparently what happens now when your faith gets broken in the sacrament. Uh, we're gonna need a communion grounds, it turns out. So let's figure this out. We have 96 uh, materials in the stockpile. That's, yeah, this is only 20. We can afford to build one of these. We also need to actually like get a good look at it here. Okay, so this is just an extra assignment slot. We don't really need an extra slot for that. We can save the materials. What else should we build? Because we have a big stockpile and we actually don't need a lot of upgrades on any of the stuff we have. Uh, we don't really know exactly what a pledging altar does. It seems like a good idea. Um, as much as one miracle XP is not a ton, this is probably still worthwhile. It's just like accelerating our XP. Uh, we don't need sunstone. We don't need to use the sunstone just yet. Let's let's build a study. Let's put one of these down as well. Uh, it can go next to the baboon of lust. That's where I keep my study. Okay, so you can get two miracle XP. It has two spaces by default, and you can get a third. Okay. Uh, well. We need Tizo to do a miracle. That's Tizo's prayer right now, right? Yeah, Tizo needs to perform a miracle, so we could probably commit Tizo to this building. I mean, I guess maybe I should be gathering resources. I put um, I put Elo into the storyteller circle. Should we gather miracle XP? Like, what's our plan? What's our what's our near future plan? We have no repeatables anymore, so I think the um, the miracle XP building is actually going to be really important for bringing up new characters. So we could go to this jungle village over here and get some followers over here. We can get followers and offering uh, relics. Do we we need these? I mean, obviously we need followers, but I don't know if we need more offering stuff. Over here we get materials. This is dark, divine, dark. It's a little inconvenient. I'm just looking for um, sources of XP as much as sources of anything else. Material boost is not really what we're looking for. Like, how hard would this actually be to do? Probably not that hard. We do need to get a new uh, zealot, so we gotta get some level ups going. But yeah, like. Um, Tizo, Zealot, and Cuscoddle, or something like that, would be would be fine. Actually, we might even be able to do it with Tizo, Cuscoddle, and just the person we intend to eventually make a Zealot. Like, they might not need to be transformed just yet. Yeah, we could put Ba on that. So if we were going to do that, we'd want to put Wayman probably into the thing. But we probably want to get some more followers in the pool first, right? Like, you you eventually run out of need for materials and ritual offerings, but you always... Well, maybe not always, but for a long time you're going to need followers. Let's try this out. It is only one day. I'll put Ba in here, too. Uh, no, I, I need to gather... Yeah, this is a little inconvenient. Okay, how about we, for the moment, focus on putting people in the pool until we have enough to get... Actually, a single person working here will get us to enough followers, enough followers in the tribute to level us up upon our next battle. Let's see if we can push Tizo over the miracle line here. It is nice to be able to assign four people. So the Garden and the Miracle are two day affairs. Tizo got. XP. Got some XP. Uh, I I mean, I'm inclined to just put him back in there, right? This should, in theory, allow us to miracle, although I don't know that I necessarily want to. Because, of course, there is the, um, there's the problem that we're probably going to be ecstatic in a single day. Okay, Alluring Body is, is absolutely acceptable. Some more Charisma is also acceptable. 
Yeah, we're, we're probably one day away from becoming excited, and I do want to have Tizo available when that happens. Also, Zoo is still showing as ecstatic, so maybe, maybe we don't have to stress too much about this right now. Here, let's, let's miracle these two. So, Tizo... Tizo has never done the Lust Miracle. None of Tizo's abilities are classed as weird or... Uh, performance, but the stats from the Miracle are still pretty good. Would I rather have a Charisma Myth? I don't know, hold on. We know we know Zoo is doing a Charisma Myth. Uh, this is the wrong button. Yeah, we know Zoo is doing a Charisma Myth because we've already done the, the Lust thing. Do these have multiple slots in them still? No, they do not. So if we want to run these uh, these miracles concurrently, Tizo is going to uh, going to the Lust Temple. Yeah, that's fine. That actually works just fine. Uh, Elo should probably go to the Garden, and then I guess that means Women is just gathering followers, or we could try to push one of these two up to. Um, up to a level up by using the thing. I kind of want to just fill the bar here. I want to I fill our tribute with followers. But we also have lots of other things that have to get done. Okay, so there's the excited. I think we sit one more day. That'll let us cap out the follower thing. And also it'll let us uh, bring a bunch of people up to their next level. Alright, so we got the Wonder Storyteller Miracle. And of course... A Lust Miracle. Unfortunately, we fell to neutral while performing it. I'm not 100% sure how much of a problem that's going to be. Uh, it's got to be... Well, I was going to say it's got to be Charisma for you, but... You do have two copies of the performance. Maybe it is, in fact, Cunning. How much cunning do you really need? Hold on, let's look at your... Okay, so you have a massive amount of evade chance. Yeah, I'm actually a little torn here. I'm gonna go for the cunning. We're gonna, we're gonna focus on this. Okay, we also got this thing. So we have performed merely an ecstatic performance. Not as good. It did produce... It did provide might. So Charisma and Might at the same time is pretty good. And we did answer the prayer. Okay, well I think now, while the people are yearning, would be a good time to go out there and wreck face. So let's go wreck some face. Got our bar all loaded up. We have some materials in the thing, <laughs> thanks to our disciple who gives us free materials. Let's see if we can open up the final island. So it'll be... Tizo here. And then... We don't want to bring our own life disciple. Like, because Coddle Elo is just a powerful squad. And then the question really is... Do we maybe play Ba instead of Elo? Cascadle is powerful no matter what. Tizo might even get some follow-ups there. And we do need to just, like, get XP. Alright, let's try it this way. So, Zoo and Elo need jobs. What I might actually do here is... Send Wayman to get Miracle XP. And then have Ba and Elo do other stuff, like get us ritual offerings. Because we're going to want to go through a whole bunch of miracles in real quick succession here. Yeah, alright, let's see if we can pull this off. It would be awfully nice. And in this case, it doesn't really matter where we have our uh, our stuff set up. I guess the shield guy, first of all, is not the person that we should have Puscottle attacking, and secondly, we need this uh, mind fog in a place where it's going to be a little bit more meaningful. 
All right, so they know they have no typing advantages on us. Yeah, I think I think this is right. Is it right to leave Elo out? Should I run Elo instead of? And Elo also doesn't have any typing advantages, but it's just sort of generally powerful. We're gonna try it like this. Yeah, Lust, Lust Priest is still a very good class, it turns out. I have confidence that Coscadal is enough of a enough of a totally overpowered cheater to get the job done. Right, wall should not be a problem. <laughs> Early Condemn turns out to be pretty big. Jesus. Okay. It's possible they've made the game a little bit too easy. I think that we should all just prepare ourselves for that uh, that that possibility. They might have undertuned the enemies a little bit for the new mechanics. We almost got to level 15 in that, actually. Alright, a symbol of moral fortitude raises the disciple's moral defense stat for the next sacrament. Hmm, that's not so great. It does only cost 10 materials, I guess. Probably the idea. It doesn't have to be good if it just doesn't cost very much. All right, so we have now opened up the final island a little bit. I'm not even allowed to, uh, not even allowed to look at it yet. Okay. Well, we want to win this one then, because we, we know the other folklore is over here somewhere. We have like an actual team this time. So Cuscottle, Elo, and then just somebody. You actually Okay, no, never mind. These are totally ancestral abilities. They're not color coded very well. I was gonna say we might just bring Zoo. Honestly, we still might just bring Zoo. Zoo's a good dodger. So if we did that, if we went I know I'm I'm missing out on resources here by not waiting, but I don't know that we need to wait. If we did, in fact, go... This is probably hard enough that we shouldn't bring one of the people who isn't leveled, but we can uh, we can have them both gain XP. So, you here... You here... And you somewhere. It's not a bad team. We get the Purple Haze off right away. So Tizo, Ba, and Uemin need jobs, and I think we know that both Ba and Uemin are going to training camp. And Tizo can just gather us more followers, or you cannot inspire more than four disciples at once. Oh, you guys are still. It is as though you have jobs. Yeah, what do we really need? I guess we could do this thing. We are about to go, theoretically, win some ritual offerings. Thing is, I think we're still going to need more. Yeah, and we're not really feeding into the uh, the matching here very well, but I want to reveal this node. Because I believe that'll be the Charisma and Might node, or at least it'll be on that side of the island. Okay, so again, just figure out the straight across... I think we have a pretty good shot here. We're powerful enough. And I think that both of the classless people should have enough experience to gain a class when we get back. Provided that they both get 2 XP and that an XP is actually a full bar in the little meter. Yeah, <laughs> who needs max HP bonuses? What are those even for? Is that a thing where, like, if the enemies were ever to attack you, it would matter? A strange concept. Okay, yeah, that got us. That got us where we were going. So you are going to become... 
a devotion-y person, and you're going to become some kind of physical guy. All right, well, let's figure out how you... There's a big button, is how. So yeah, Ba wants to become our zealot. The cunning isn't directly relevant, but all the charisma totally will be. And also, just like, generally good stats across the board. Okay, I was gonna say, did that, <laughs> did that not actually stick? So, my first feeling here is Beast Walker. I know that we're not getting cunning naturally, and also cunning is a low stat. But I'm not sure that I want a Rage Prophet. Maybe a Smite Sword would be good. Yeah, actually, maybe that's the way to go. We could also do a Guardian. We don't really know what we're up against in the final... You know what? Uh, oh, it's too late. I can't go and look. I was going to say, let's go look at the map and see what the next battle, the next couple of battles at least hold. So that we can try to pick a class that will be powerful. It looks like we are unable to do so. So you're mostly going to gain might. A little bit of health, a little bit of knowledge, mostly might. Honestly, Smite Sword feels like the right play, I think. We used to have a lot of people who cared about devotion abilities. Now almost everybody cares about nature abilities. Maybe it is Beast Walker. Beast Walker mostly cares about the might. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, and then we definitely want... We want the Beast Walker to perform the Charisma Miracle. We need Oh, we need other miracle buildings. We don't have a good one for you. Uh, so we could build a market or hey none of these are the might building actually that was on the religion track somewhere right it was unlocking more miracle buildings choose a new ritual for your religion okay the farmlands are at 19 I should probably have thought of that before selecting. Didn't even realize that it was going to be an issue. Well, we can certainly build a market or a hunter's lodge. It might be the hunter's lodge. Then at least we can scale cunning a little bit while, while we wait to figure everything else out. Because it does not feel like it would be great to... Yeah, put the root of cunning in here. It does not feel like it would be great to just sit, just have a wave and sit and wait and not do miracles. Uh, but that said, do we want to knock out one of these first and then come back and do this thing? And the wondrous miracle is going to be pretty okay. We don't have any use for the charisma or the crit buffs that come from this because none of the. Uh, Beastwalker abilities will... none of them have the right tags, so they won't get any benefit from it anyway. Let's just go ahead and put you in here. And then Ba is probably going to take the once in a... once in a lifetime Lust Miracle. I don't think we have any abilities that will benefit from it, but it's still a larger amount of Charisma plus Cunning than the Charisma Miracle, and honestly like, cunning still matters. Oh, I don't have enough ritual offerings. Okay, we'll do a miracle myth for right now. We'll get, we'll get this one on next. The next go-round. Oh, and I suppose we ought to dedicate a statue. You know, we can increase the amount of cunning that comes out of the hunting miracle even more. Okay, so this is, as mentioned, a hunting miracle. What do we... what would be appropriate there? How about this? A statue of the most dangerous game. Disciples. Okay, so we need offerings pretty badly. That's got to be our, our main focus here. Uh, offerings. Yeah, there we go. We also do need to actually build the... Wait, did I build it already? Yes, I totally did. We, we need to put Zoo through the communion grounds. Maybe that's a thing to do right now? Let's see. This matches materials and offerings. This is something that we want pretty badly. 
How hard is it going to be? It actually doesn't look that bad. You're going to be very reliant on Cuscoddle, as always. But, yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look so hard. It will be tough to generate good type bonus damage. I mean, it's, it's going to be Cuscoddle Zoo, or not, uh, sorry, Cuscoddle Elo and somebody. Maybe our own Ancestral Disciple. That's fine. So let's let's build up a little bit of a stock though. We're gonna we're gonna want some ritual offerings before we go in there. Is there anything else that I want to do that's also ritual offerings? That's also ritual offerings. Yeah, I guess we want to just wait. Let's get some stuff in the pool. It feels bad to advance our XP slowly. Okay, because Cotto must take part in a sacrament. Yeah, that won't be a problem. You pretty much never want to do sacraments without him. Let's go ahead and I just I guess just cap this off. Okay, so how many days you know what I don't I don't think I know how many days it is to remove debuffs. Uh blessing is not what we were looking for. And then we have our first wondrous hunting miracle, and how wondrous is it? it well, it does give a point of might. You know, there's something to be said for that. And it did give us the thing that scales with cunning, which is awfully nice. Alright, if we wanted you to go here, odd ah, is two days. Wait, did I... who did I just assign to that? Oh, <laughs> nobody actually has the marker for it. I told Cuscado to go there, but it didn't actually assign him, presumably because he doesn't have anything to remove. Which is nice. It's nice that it works that way. So we were thinking about doing... Uh, sorry. You know, maybe doing this with our followers? We need to get here eventually. And maybe, maybe eventually is now. What? It's like, it's Cuscoddle and uh, Elo. Get out of that offering stockpile. We have better job for you. And I suppose it could be Uemon. We do need to level up some of those guys. We also need to level up Tizo because right now we do not have a lot of great sources of ancestral damage. So maybe that's the right move. And you're attacking directly across. We have some ability to dodge. The, the wither's going to be really good here. So Ba and Oemon need jobs. Ba and Zu and Oemon need jobs. So do we want you to get out here and gather followers or focus on miracle XP. We probably need to keep pushing the followers. Out of curiosity, do we ever get a fifth disciple or a fifth working disciple slot? Yes. Oh no, sorry, that's just support. Oh no, you may now assign one more disciple every season. So at 19, which is a bit of a distance from here. It's a little bit of a walk. Alright, let's go Conduct ourselves a thing. They have 90. They do have double swift judgment and... You know what? We have to wait. We have to wait until we have the religion HP bonus. So that means Elo needs to get off of this and probably onto material generation. We don't really have the offering... Uh, the offerings coming in to try this thing. We are going to need materials eventually, I think. We still have some stuff that we want to build. I think I actually do want to wait for Ecstatic on this. Just because they have so much health. Okay. So now let's do it exactly like we were planning on doing it. Yep, because Coddle needs to get in here and... Elo needs to get in here. Yeah, I think that's right. 
Zoo is indisposed and also, you know, not so good at dodging morale damage. So I probably would just get killed. Let's try it like this. I have faith. I have like 60% faith in you. And I'm a god, so imagine like my capacity for it. 60 percent's a lot, is what I'm saying. All right, let's hope that we don't get too murdered by the claws. See, this right here is a reason that it might have been wise to just try to bring um, the songsmith, just in the hopes of evading a bunch of that not uh, that noise. It does look like we're gonna get through it, though. <laughs> Got through it and then some. Tizo's very nearly dead. You know, her head is still attached. It's kind of like it's it's hanging off to the side a little bit, but it's still on there. She can blink. She can hear us. She can, she's not gonna be able to like eat solid food for a little while. But that's not all there is to life. Decent tribute. Okay, the levels are starting to get further apart now. But hey, we got something. I don't even remember what this level up was. Okay, increase the size of the tribute pile. And now we get to choose a ritual. So you have to wonder. The monastery thing is a little bit less relevant than it was, presuming they haven't changed it. Since it is now easier to keep people ecstatic, I almost wonder if that makes human sacrifice good enough to take. Let, let's, let's try monasteries. I'm curious if they've changed it. And I will say I wasn't really looking for this, but now I wonder if it is possible to uh, to get them both eventually. I clicked build and it forgot to give me the build menu. Oh, the monastic order is outside of the normal build system. That's weird. I was really expecting to have to use materials to build it and stuff. Alright, no doubt Tizo needs to go to the garden. You just, you gotta take a break, man. Okay, gain the Tome of the Sacred One's Wisdom. Small chance to gain the Scripture Rare Relic. Ooh. Okay, there's some neat stuff there. Uh, how long does it take? It is a one day. It requires 50 ritual offerings and a pretty, a, a pretty practiced disciple. Let's make sure we're on ritual offerings. We're gonna need like a whole lot of them. We are 10 turns away from new disciples. We could probably rest a little bit on the folklores. Except oh, except this one. We should still definitely get this. So what was my plan here? Oh, my plan is Tizo based here. It's gonna be like Tizo and Ba and somebody. And doing it while we're uh, ecstatic would maybe be an okay idea. So we gotta wait on Tizo no matter what. So who's gonna be the fourth worker and what are they gonna do? They could just gather XP. And have Ba just focus on trying to get to the next level. Or we no, we should probably be pulling resources. We still need more followers, we still need more offerings. We're probably going to need more followers a lot for the entire rest of the game. I guess I should look at what the share is here. The share is followers and materials. Okay. I do want a great big pile of followers, but we're also closer to... Well, we're further along in the bar. We're not actually that much closer to the cap. Or we're further along in terms of the absolute value. We're not actually closer to the cap because the cap keeps moving up. So maybe I do want to redirect one of these two onto follower grabbing. And then maybe Zoo also takes a break while you go and help with the ritual offerings. So we're going to have one more day probably before we hit ecstatic. What other work needs to be done in the meantime? 
Uh, we only need one person on the campfire, so it's probably like... We should grab some materials since we're getting the, the big match on those. But I think I definitely want to keep two people on ritual offerings. We're just, we're going to end up needing a lot of them, pretty much, no matter how we handle this all. And then I suppose some more materials would be nice too. Maybe I should have been a little more focused on those. Alright, we are feeling ecstatic. I mean, we have to be able to get it done. So it was... Tizo and... Ba and someone, is that right? Always... Always forgetting. Yeah, Tizo's safe from their typing, Ba is superior to their typing, and then we just throw in one of the nature guys. It maybe doesn't even matter who. Except that Uemin could use some XP. But... Our enemies are very evasive. And also like being hit physically, so probably Elo is actually the right move. Elo and Ba and... Tizo. So Cuscoddle and Zoo need jobs. Zoo is feeling a little bit less happy than I might like. Temporarily lowers faith. Mm, maybe I don't want this to be Zoo. It could be... Coscoddle, because Coddle is, is very poorly typed for this whole thing. Yeah, and we, we gotta see what the new effect is, right? See how it works now. And Zoo can go and... Uh, we're already gathering a lot there, and honestly, we're probably gonna need some materials. We're, we're bringing in... Oh, uh, yeah. Tizo doesn't need to work. Is it materials? I'm actually pretty torn. Let's get more followers. I think. Maybe that's right. Okay. An important folklore. Let's go get it. You and... Uh... You... It was Zoo was one of our... Darn it. Elo does not need to work. Zoo does. I'm very forgetful. There we go. That's the way we want that apportioned. That's the way we want the responsibility laid out before our foolish followers. So we don't have a lot of reasons to have anybody standing in any particular place here, right? Because you don't have the direct across attack. Doing a fair amount of hitting everybody. Yeah, okay. I think this is, this is acceptable. This is a totally reasonable thing. I guess... The direct across attack is not ancestral, so putting Ba here doesn't actually give us any extra chance to defend ourselves. Yeah, we're fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we're fine. Waiting for ecstatic might have been overkill, because I'm looking at the HP bars here and thinking, you know, we, we almost never take anywhere near as much damage as the enemy, we probably don't need to have twice their health to get through. But I got embarrassed once, and I will not have it again. Wow. No kidding. I wasn't even done trying to pump them up for battle before the battle was suddenly over. Okay, and then is it just the same squad for this? It totally might be. In fact, I think it is. Okay, in this case we do want... Yeah, but there's no direct across stuff. I'm gonna say we do totally want Ba to uh, to be able to tank some of this, but we can't actually guarantee that hit. Okay, this is the hard part. I mean, I say I say hard. It's not like I'm actually doing anything here. This is the part that's less likely to work. Okay, nice and effective. I'm a little worried that we're gonna see Elo get broken here. Okay, the Intimidated is very helpful. Ooh, that's a big crit. Fortunately, no break. We're definitely gonna get some play. Oh, that's a shame. 
Oh, we're fine. I was going to say we're definitely going to get some play out of that extra slot in the garden. But yeah, we're collecting these folklores remarkably quickly. We probably do not need to do more than one more Disciple Cycle to win at this rate, so... Those guys are going to have everything. And we did get ourselves another Sky Shard. We're close to having another Religion level on top of this one. Disciple slots increased to seven is a great reward. Truly, <laughs> truly remarkable how happy that makes me. Okay, Zoo must not take part in the next sacrament. All right, Zoo's not feeling particularly, um, particularly happy with us, so... Okay, they did not change these. These still function exactly the same way. I do think that that means that the monastery is not very good right now. I suppose there's, there's a chance of getting the scripture rare relic and maybe some of these tomes are, are better. Are those just the names of the Ten Faith books from before? They might be. I don't, I don't remember what they were. Okay, we know that definitely we need Tizo and Elo to go in here. And then we do have some downtime. What is our what is our next mission target? Where do I think we're gonna go next? Uh, this one would not be terrible. Get a lot of offerings that way, and also a relic. And obviously, it would be nice to have the bonus stats. So here, this is a match for followers. Uh, this doesn't look that hard. Yeah, no, this looks pretty doable. We might want to wait until we're um, excited, just because they have 90 health, and we can come with 90 health. So I guess we want to really focus on followers right now. We have enough offerings for the moment, I think. Yeah, let's do it like that. We'll fill the follower part of the tribute, and then we'll get more offerings, probably. I mean, we're going to be able to do a little bit more in a second here, so we won't have to have people actively in the garden. Okay, we can put one more charge into gathering followers. That should be sufficient. And then let's get... Well, I suppose I should actually equip somebody with that book. Unfortunately, we wrote a knowledge book, which is not, like, ideal for anybody, really. Yeah, it was a knowledge book, not a devotion book. It is a little awkward. I don't think we have anybody for whom knowledge is super important. I guess you say it is, but all of your attacks scale with charisma. We don't have the one knowledge thing. So... Yeah, I don't know. It just goes on some some caster. Law's actually not like a terrible place for it. We don't have any... Um, any attacks that scale off of it, but just crit is generally good. Although maybe we want to focus crit on allies. Unfortunately, I can't say who I think that uh, Ba is generally going to be working with. I suppose probably Ba is not going to be working with Zoo all that much, just due to the uh, the rock paper scissors of the uh, typing wheel. Yeah, let's give it to Coscoddle. Now, uh, Coscoddle doesn't need the faith, though. Alright, we'll do Ba. Ba's ecstatic right now, but <laughs> Coscoddle has... Uh, has some pretty significant buffs. And also this thing. I guess we could have used it to offset, but that's a pretty temporary issue. Okay, so we want one person gathering these, and then we don't really need a ton more materials, so I guess focus on the offering stockpile for the moment. And then maybe we could send somebody to gain XP. How's Ba doing on XP? Yeah, let's, let's get a little bit of motivation going here. Okay, I think that's reasonable. And like I said, we'll we'll go ahead and wait for Ecstatic here, just because we're planning to... Wow, does that seem faster than usual? 
I guess I'm just like completely forgetting about the fact that we have uh, that we spent a little while healing people in the garden. Zoo is feeling down. Well, resting through the next sacrament will definitely help. Alright, how much do I believe here? You know what, I think we've got it. So let's put up Hilo, obviously. Also Uemon. And then just kind of anybody. Ace Kazukado makes a lot of sense. Um, no, never mind. We don't. We, we do have follow-ups from Kazukado. And of course, uh, Punish the Feeble is always going to be great here. We could put Ba in instead. Still gives us superior typing, but also funnels XP to a person who needs it more. Yeah, we should be able to do this. We don't have any of our, like, really, like, our power hitters, but... They're all a little indisposed, because Coddle needs a job, if we're gonna do this this way. That job will be probably collecting ritual offerings. Uh... Actually, Tizo and Elo are both... No, Elo's... Elo's gonna be there. Okay, let's get ourselves a folklore. Is this the last one? It totally is, in fact. Okay, I don't know that it matters too, too much how we arrange these. Wait, is Zoo not working? Zoo's just praying for rest, but not actually working. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's absolutely what's happening here. All right, well, Zoo's feeling down. Uh, there's not a ton we can do about that. Yeah, I guess I guess just do this. Like an inconvenient time for us to deal with that with that sad emotional state. Okay, now we're ready. Now we are totally ready. We would get 96 followers if we complete this. That would be awfully nice. We are tearing up the god ranks. Zeus, look out. We're coming for you. Is Zeus, is Zeus on top of the god ranks? Alright, a little ancient peace for us, and then a little bit of... hopefully stabbing the hell out of people. Okay, get a follow-up. That's pretty great. Doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of actual damage, though. That's kind of a mixed blessing there, because all of Elo's abilities do, da do more damage to people who are infatuated. So it would have been really nice to have Elo hit the, the correct target there. Yeah, jeez, they're doing so much damage. Okay, and sometimes so are we. Oh, you're kidding me once again with that. Come on, roll a bunch of infatuated. Nope, we lose. Yo, that really sucked. Them always having somebody who wasn't infatuated to jump in front of Elo's attacks uh, completely killed us, and there's <laughs> there's absolutely no way to like plan around that. You just lose. Especially since it was the like, there was just as much a chance that a the infatuated person would jump in front of the non-infatuated person. Or, the infatuated person jump in front of the other infatuated person on that last one. Okay, that's pretty much what we expected it to be. Well, I would still really like to get this folklore before we pull in the next group of disciples. We'll have to see how feasible that is. Alright, uh, first things first. Let's, let's pull everybody back. You two have to go to the garden. Yeah, we're not going to be not going to be bothering building that. So Ba needs to heal up and miracle. And it would be cool if we could get rid of this, but we can't. We're probably just going to try that same battle again. So I guess let's gather uh, understanderers. Yeah, if you um, if you screw up a sacrament, get some real happiness issues. 
as all of your stacking, slowly, like, rolling buffs start to fall off of people. I think we're just going to do the same week again here. We're not going to pull, pull in the Disciples right away. We're going to do this first. Uh, we're we're going to try that Sacrament one more time, but this time just not get so unlucky, basically. It does. It should be 100% doable. Okay, uh, Ba. Probably just the, the Miracle Myth. Has Ba performed enough miracles? No, absolutely not. I'm gonna say, at least it seems like... It seems like this should not be open to us. It appears to be, it's not really better than the Miracle Myth for Ba anyway. And I'm going to send Elo to this thing. Two people on um, follower gathering is probably too much at this point. Yeah, I think I think we we effectively wasted one person's time there pretty seriously. Uh, and then like we can't go now, right? Maybe we can. If we go now, we're all healed up. I know it didn't work last time, but it does seem like it's the right. Okay, we'll lose our we'll lose our ritual, but we'll lose the day of progress. But we'll get the cost back, so that's not so bad. Yeah, I don't know that we really have a big change that needs to be made here. I guess, okay, we can pull Ba to avoid the early Ancient Peace. Instead of running Ba, just go, like, Coddle or something. Somebody who's kind of out of the way. Coddle has good follow-ups, generally powerful abilities. Yeah, let's try it this way. Without provoking ancient peace or divine peace. Which you totally can't have both of, you massive cheater. Yeah, let's let's try it. And then we can pull in our disciples and they can be super powerful and everything will be great. Maybe. Maybe everything will be great. Everything at least ha kind of has the possibility of being great. Okay, getting a lot of debuffs out. Elo should not be the top person in the party. I gotta remember that. Oh, Daze is good. Interesting that Kuzcatl didn't get to um, punish the Feeble off that. I'm not sure why. Well, we got through it. But yeah, that I, I would have thought that that Middle Disciple's Daze would have, would have triggered Punish the Feeble. Okay, so that is the last of the folklores, right? Our people are now coming in as powerful as they will ever be. And we're actually, like, really tearing through the levels here. What is the next one? Is the next one a disciple slot? Because if it is... Uh, it looks like it is... It is a Disciple slot, I think. Okay, pretty happy to see Question come in. Definitely Charisma focused. Yeah, there is plus, plus Disciple limit on 19. Maybe we should wait even a little bit more? We have to get to 740. Like it's, it's actually really easy to get to that value. Let's have you go to the garden. I'm gonna put... Can we put two people in here? I can't remember. Is that an upgrade I had to buy? It is. Well, we can afford it. And we'll get Elo's um, miracle. We'll get there. So we want to send somebody. Apparently we can only send people who are merely happy, which is a shame. Somebody needs to go and gather some of these guys. 
We have to get 11 followers in the in the thing, in the tribute. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's see if we can push up to, to 20 before we... Or uh, push up to 19, rather. We're not at 19. We're going toward 19. Let's see if we can do this before we call in those disciples. So we have a lot of people who are feeling pretty miserable. All we have to do is win any sacrament. This one looks like it might be a little bit tricky. I guess they have... Yeah, they have a lot of damage here. We do have the ability to just go for the end. I don't think we're terribly likely to win just yet. They have mixed this up a little bit more, which is nice. It turns out there's still a, lo a lot of nature enemies in the end game, though. Could we do this while getting a relic? Again, we just need anybody to win. We just need, we just need to win any fight is, is maybe a better way of expressing that. So, Life Disciple, it's like, Ba because, well, Ba because our typing is, is kind of awkward. We could run Zoo this time, and then we don't really want to run a Nature Disciple. We could run Coscoddle, because Coscoddle does, does not have any weaknesses here. Everybody would love a nature ability to follow up on, which is a real shame. But we have some powerful overall abilities, and they don't really have that much stuff going on. So we need Tizo, Elo, and Nuemon to have jobs. And everybody's miserable 100% of the time, no matter how good of a job we are doing. It's just the way of things. Elo's not even coming along, so Elo can do this. And then it was Tizo as well. Oh, that thing is not actually full. Okay, there we go. Unfilling it while you're uh, while you're actually in the select job dialogue apparently doesn't work. Well, our people are getting pretty bummed out now. All of a sudden, we're not uh, we're not the happy-go-lucky crew we once were. All right, if we can roll performance once or twice, we're going to be in really good shape here. So they don't actually have a lot of ability to mess with us in terms of like putting um, putting garbage traits into our lines or anything. This is a pretty straightforward battle. And even though we don't synergize super well, I think it should be okay. Just like raw power wise, we should have a, a pretty significant advantage here. I do not know what we are looking for from disciples. I'll say that. I feel like in the last uh, the last couple, we've had very obvious things that we were hoping would show up. This time. I don't, honestly, I don't know that we need new disciples, except in the sense that the new disciples have all the folklores and some of our old ones don't. We might just be replacing things that already exist with slightly better versions of themselves. Although, to be fair, slightly better versions of themselves that we have to train up. So it's, there is at the very least a time cost. Okay, 810 is the next one. Well, I do like the pacing of the game a little bit better. Without the without the game being so reliant on grinding repeatable battles, the pacing really does feel a lot better. Oh, we get to choose the new commandment. Well, I think it's probably going to be peace. Because we're already leaning into a lot of kind abilities. And then we get to create a thing. Let's have Zoo do it. Zoo's ecstatic, and we're all about life over here. We're all about a celebration of life. Ooh. Zoo's exalted headdress. Plus three charisma for all life classes. That's a global bonus, so every... All one of my life classes will get plus three charisma. Well, we may as well... Wait, what's going on? 
Oh, okay. It's just giving us a little screen here. <laughs> Suppose I won't get to use Axie much anymore. You did good, Axie. Oh, it's a little bit sad. Okay, so we have a, uh, a temple of peace, presumably, to build. Oh, that's right, we have all this stuff. We can now build a farmland. Yeah, we do not yet have the temple of peace. I'm sure we'll get it soon. The Decay Lust statue? Actually, maybe not? The Decay statue unlocks the forum structure because of peace. So actually... We are... we're not that far off, I suppose. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull in some new initiates, I guess? Again, I don't really know what we're looking for. In terms of the final battle... They have a little bit of everything. So I guess what we're looking for is to expand our coverage. They don't really have... they have a single Life Disciple. We don't really need to go Ancestral, but aside from that... Just sort of get broader. We could get our own Guardian, because there is an Executioner in the final battle. That might be a good idea. We'd have to hope that the Executioner ends up with Life Strike, or that the uh, Guardian, rather, ends up with Life Strike, which is a bit of a touchy proposition. Well, let, let's pull him in here and have a look at him. We have a couple of Initiate slots open here. Yeah, it seems like they must have made purple slots, or purples, way more common. So you are of the Lilac King totem. That's... hmm. That's an interesting set of stats, certainly. We could, I'm sure we can make something out of you. I don't know what. And the Bull totem. Boy, everybody wants nature follow-ups. So we have two open slots. Right, really hard to select you. There we go. Uh, I can't imagine we turn down the Lilac King. I don't know exactly what we'll make you into, but we, like, we almost certainly want you. And then... Frigate Bird... Like, what's up with Kuzcatl? How close are we to being old? We're getting there. I might not have to worry about it just yet. So yeah, we don't, we're not necessarily looking for a replacement there. I'm inclined to take the cow thing just because, again, we don't have a ton of physical disciples. Take you and then we don't retire anybody? I think we're cool, actually. Just just a little bit of new blood in. Okay, so the last thing we have to do here really is just like prep for the final battle. We can start using our sky shards now. I don't think there should be any problem with that. We can get up to three more Sky Shards on top of what we already have, which is... I'm not even sure how many. I haven't had to think about it. Where is the... where's my Sky Shard building? Hold on. No, that's the Sacrament Study. Wait, which one of these things is... oh, I didn't build it yet. <laughs> right, because we didn't need it. Okay, this might be a good time. So it looks like it's the same. It looks like it hasn't undergone any changes. And as soon as you... Oh, interesting. So you do get Sky Shards for the... Um... Sky Shards are part of your tribute. Does this mean that there actually is a way to gather Sky Shards now? There's not an obvious one. It's an interesting question. I'll, uh, I'll poke around in the menus and stuff between today and tomorrow because I do believe that this marks a pretty good stopping point for the day. The new wave of, uh, of initiates is a really good place to stop because it gives me some time to figure out what on earth I want to do with all these new initiates. So I'm going to think through that. I'm going to plan our approach to the final island. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, tomorrow, for what will probably be a glorious successful end to this game. I can't imagine us failing in any way at all, ever. Never happens. We'll see you then.